What's up guys, this is Javier and welcome to the review of the Milwaukee M12 Impact Driver model 2462-20. This is a 12 volt impact driver with a quarter inch hex chuck. This model replaces a 2450-20 M12 Impact Driver. It is small and compact and measures 6.5 inches from front to back. It's very lightweight at only 2.3 pounds with the battery pack. It feels very balanced in your hand and isn't front heavy or back heavy. In order to insert bits you need both hands to install a bit. One hand to pull on the chuck and the other hand to install the bit. To remove bits pull on the chuck with one hand and you can either pull out the bit with your other hand or let gravity drop the bit. It has a variable speed trigger, an electric brake, it has an LED light above the trigger which helps when working in low light conditions. The light will stay on for 10 seconds after you release the trigger. It also has a built-in fuel gauge to show you the remaining battery life. This new model comes with some of the improvements that made it to the M12 fuel line, such as this model comes with a belt clip, which I really like and is a perfect fit for such a portable tool. It comes pre-installed on the left side and can be removed and installed on the right side. Also, the ergonomics of the grip have been improved. The top handle is slimmed down and is much more comfortable. This is similar to what they did to the handles of the M12 Fuel brushless tools. I like that it has two rubber bumpers on each side that keep the tool from sliding and damaging delicate surfaces. Just make sure to put it down on the side without the bell clip if you don't want to damage your work surface. It has a no load speed of 0 to 2500 RPM and 0 to 3300 impacts per minute. It has a brush motor that Milwaukee claims it to have 1,000 inch-pounds of max torque. If you buy the kit, the model number for that is 2462-22 and it includes two red lithium battery packs rated at 1.5 amp hours and it also includes the M12 battery charger. These batteries charge in about half hour which is relatively quick. It also includes a nice plastic case to store it all in. I ran this little impact driver through several tests and it proved to be very capable at everything I threw at it. For the first series of tests, I drove 3 inch long screws without pad holes into a 4x4. Under testing, this little impact driver was right at home driving screws all day long. The second and third test was driving lag screws into a 4x4 without pad holes. On the left video, this test was done with a 2 inch lag screw. This test was handled quickly by the little impact. On the right video, the test was done using a 3.5 inch lag screw. This test was to stress test the impact and see how it handled high torque applications. As you can see, the impact driver is still driving that 3.5 inch lag screw. So while we wait, we will take a look at the left video of the impact drilling with a 1 8 of an inch drill bit. As you can see, it was a piece of cake. The final two tests was drilling with larger sizes. This next set of holes is done with a 5 8 of an inch spade bit. The final set of holes is done with a 1 inch spade bit. I found this M12 impact driver to be powerful for its size. What I like about this impact driver, besides the power, is that it's lightweight. It hardly weighs a thing. I like the new improved grip. I never had a problem with the original M12 grip and thought it was great, but this new grip is that much better in your hand. One of my favorite features is the included belt clip. Another thing I like is a 10 second LED light. On older cordless tools, you had to hold the trigger to keep the light on, which is very annoying. Now on to what I don't like about the impact driver. And don't get me wrong, none of my dislikes are really a big deal. I don't like that you need both hands to insert bits into the chuck. 
I'm used to being able to just slip a bit in and it automatically locks. It, it also would have been nice if when you pull on the chuck it would spit out the bit like with the original M12 screwdriver. I also don't like that it only comes with one LED light. Don't get me wrong that this LED light gets the job done but you still end up with a shadow in dark areas. I would have liked a three ring LED like how the Bosch and the DeWalt's have for the shadow free lighting. My last dislike is that the case doesn't have anywhere to put your accessories. I think they should have put a compartment with a door to stash your bit securely. Okay guys, this is the end of the review. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel.